How's it going, folks? CR here, your run-of-the-mill, friendly firearms enthusiast. And today I will be bringing you a gun control Q&A. What I've done is basically gathered some questions people have for gun rights advocates such as myself. And I'm going to be answering them in this segment. So, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so allow me to answer this question here. No, I don't believe it causes us to lose our rights. Uh, I believe that these, quote, gun reform proposals that people, especially outside the U.S., would love to see for the U.S. are an outright violation of those rights. Okay, so a few misconceptions I'd like to address with this uh, question here. Now, the first being, Americans owning firearms solely for a hobby. Well, while some Americans, while many Americans actually own firearms uh, for a hobby, it is not the sole reason why Americans own firearms. Many of us own firearms for things such as personal protection as well, and the AR-15 is a superb rifle for that. In fact, I think it's probably the best rifle we've got on the market, or at least the best platform we've got on the market today for that when you're talking about using a rifle for personal protection. Now, the other misconception is is that somehow it's going to save a child's life. Uh, again, not true. Even conceding Everything the gun controllers say about their ban being 100% effective, which it won't be. The total number of homicides by rifle is a very small fraction of our homicides. And thus, will not even begin to address the issue of our homicides. Which, again... The idea that you're going to ban AR-15s and save people's lives is not true. You'd have a better shot <laughs> of saving children's lives by removing our gun-free zones. That would be one major correlating factor with mass shootings in the United States, is they all seem to happen in gun-free zones. Other things, if you were really concerned with saving the children's lives, well... You could support things like armed security for schools, uh, entry control points, metal detectors, uh, things uh, of that nature. Uh, there are plenty of ways to save people's lives uh, in this incident, uh, which is what I'm presuming you're talking about is these type of incidences, without gun control. In fact, so far, some of our gun control laws have been detrimental to saving people's lives. Okay, so to answer this question, I am opposed to such a ban. And, uh, in fact, not only that, I am in favor of repealing the 1986 ban on select fire and repealing all NFA restrictions for military grade weapons in general. The reason why the founders wrote the Second Amendment was precisely so. Our uh, people would have the same weapons the infantry had. They wanted pretty much every able-bodied male, 17 to 45, to have in their possession a firearm that they can use in war. That was the intent behind the Second Amendment. Well, I guess if you went and checked yourself into a mental institute and asked for a padded room, you'd be the freest person in the world. And by your own logic, you know, you would be completely free of the concern of violence. <laughs> uh... But no, seriously, I mean, um, let's let's say your gun ban works and all the criminals turn in their guns like uh, you think they're going to do. Um, 
what's to stop a criminal from clocking you in the head with a wrench or shanking you or running you over with a car? Ah, oh, you didn't think about that, did you? Um, what about all the other people who feel, and I'll use the word feel because this is your logic, uh, that uh, having a firearm on them is a great way to make sure that their freedom to be unconcerned with violence is unmolested. You see how this was a bad idea. I mean, you see where this gets problematic. Huh. But I, I mean, I guess uh, by your own logic, um, the UK is light years freer than the US if we're talking about just banning things for your feelings. <laughs> so, I mean, really what you're talking about, though, is not real freedom. You're framing this as freedom. You're misclassifying this as freedom. What you really mean to say is that you want the government to restrict everybody so you can feel safe. And I use the word feel in this one in, in its proper sense, because if you actually look at your historical homicide rates, you can't even say uh, a single gun law you guys put in place reduced them because your homicide rates did not go down after each and every time your country passed a major firearms act. You should really go and look up your own country's historical data. Oh, you allow us to exist. Um, which country do you come from again? Um, have you compared your country's conventional military might to U.S. military might? And I'm excluding like the stuff such as nuclear weapons and chemical weapons on this one. Because, I mean, it would be all over in a heartbeat just about if it went nuclear. Uh... But no, I mean, and even on conventional, I'm more than willing to bet it wouldn't last too long. But let's say even our military just sat this one out. You know, just let you roll your army in to the U.S. Do you really think you have enough soldiers uh, to deal with all the firearm owners in the U.S.? Do you think uh, firearms owners in the U.S. are going to just simply bend over to your nation's will? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I suppose I can ask you, why do people from your country get so upset when Americans criticize your culture? See, this works both ways. But to answer your question, uh, there are several reasons why Americans, such as myself, get rather annoyed at foreigners who criticize, and I'm going to use that word loosely, America's pro-gun, what you really should be saying, though, is pro-freedom to own and carry firearms. That's actually more accurate. Uh, culture. There are several reasons for this. Um, one such reason is that many of these criticisms are based in ignorance or misinformation. One such example will be the person from the UK claiming, well, we have a lower homicide rate than you guys do, and therefore our strict gun laws cause this. Again, not true. In fact, if this person had looked at their own country's historical homicide rate, they would find that even in the days where they had similar gun laws to the U.S., that uh, their homicide rate was still lower than the U.S. In fact, they would also realize that their gun control laws didn't do anything to lower the homicide rate because the homicide rate now is slightly higher uh, than before they had all those gun laws. <laughs> in fact, you can see no reduction in their homicide rate after those gun laws. So that's one reason. Another reason is there is a certain arrogance to some of these people, and it's really not a criticism they're giving, they're just being arrogant. 
um, they pretend uh, like a, a Brit who's never handled a firearm before in their life, talking to an American that owns one, five, ten, twenty, fifty firearms, and this Brit pretends like they want to, uh, well, wants to pretend like they know more about firearms than that American with fifty firearms. I'm oh, sorry, that's just not that. It's just not the case. That American with fifty firearms has a lot more knowledge on firearms than that Brit does. Another uh, reason why Americans like myself will be annoyed with outsiders quote criticizing our gun culture is that a lot of these people from these countries have their own problems. And in fact, these people's countries are worse off than ours are. One such example would be, uh, I saw a comment uh, on an internet forum from somebody claiming to be from Mexico, um, just saying that our gun culture was bad and that it's the cause of all their problems. No, motherfucker, Mexico's the cause of Mexico's problems. Your corrupt government is the cause of your problems. It's not our gun culture. Your homicide rate dwarfs ours because... Your country is so corrupt, it's not even funny. It's not our firearm laws that are doing it. Another such example or reason as to why Americans get annoyed with these supposed criticisms from foreigners would be, hey, you guys have the freedom not to come here. What you guys are in the wrong for is trying to dictate to us what our internal policy shall be. You know, that gets uh, really annoying. Especially when, you know, you have some Canadian who sits there and says, well, we're basically the same country. Uh, No, we're not. We have two different mentalities. So, those are some of the reasons why Americans get so annoyed by foreigners criticizing our freedom all right so i think i'm gonna wrap this up for today um hope this was an informative uh question and answer session and please if y'all have any questions of your own please leave them in the comments all right y'all take her easy out there and have a great day